Hi everyone, here is Chen. Welcome to Chen C in Taiwan. First of all, I'd like to share a story of Dan Bing. English pronunciation is pretty much like Dan Bing. It's a food like thicker savory crabs, but finna pancake with egg, something in between. For the way we eat Dan Bing, actually it's quite similar to burrito but without guacamole or salsa. From now on, I call it rape for the flour-based part. Rape varies by vendor. Some of them are crispy, soft, some are crispy, chewy, and some are soft, soft. In general, plain flavor will be coming with an egg. For this condition, Thickened garlic soy sauce made by different vendors is playing an important role. We also love to put tuna cone with mayo, bacon, or barbecue pork on a rape. Oh, a slice of cheese makes fire work. Dumping in Taiwan is just like baguette in France, rice in Japan, and old porridge for British. Common and simple to have them for breaking. Why Taiwanese basically had to live without it? Long time ago, there were only indigenous people living in Formosa. Since Chinese came to occupy, more and more people immigrated here. They were from different provinces of China originally. Different types of cuisines made Taiwan be an island of yummy food. After World War II, veterans from North relocated in Taiwan for its recipe of shilat cake. Original texture was too chewy for Taiwanese who immigrated from South earlier. They prefer soft texture, so rape developed pancake way. In Taiwan, it's cheap and easy to get dumping while breaking time. But if you are lazy to go out and prefer cooking at home, it's common to see rape pot in supermarket. We sell them in fridge as burrito pack. My mom is a vegetarian. This is the few street food she cooked for me when I was little. Quite convenient to get ingredients almost everywhere around the world. So I've done it when travel says well. Here is a simple recipe for your reference. Enjoyed the stories of dumping. There are more hidden flavors in Taiwan. Please don't hesitate to visit us in the future. See you next time.